this part may seem to be a little bit confusing when you set up the uh, the rang mailbox sensor it tells you to take the back cover off and then move this switch towards the octagon symbol the octagon symbol is that symbol right there see it kind of looks like a stop sign in the plastic right there so make sure that switch is is down towards that see see how the switch is positioned that was a little bit confusing but that's how it's supposed to be and the next thing you need to do is insert three triple a batteries now i like these batteries because they're amazon brand and you can find them linked within this video's description also but be sure they're inserted in the correct direction but yeah three triple a batteries so this is my ring mailbox sensor installed and this is how i did it so i've got a metal mailbox I put the little sticker, came with a little sticker. I just put that on the mailbox. I thought it looked kind of looked cool. So inside, I've got the sensor. And one thing I would recommend doing, see it's on this base. It's on the base and you can slide it off if you need to replace the AAA batteries in the future. I would probably position your base like this with this little window looking thing facing outwards. My logic behind that is that if the mail, mail delivery person, if, they, if it was faced the other way, they might inadvertently pull it out of the mailbox this way, if it became dislodged from the base, which I don't think it should, I mean, it's very sturdy and that adhesive strip that came with it's very high quality. But if it did, at least it would hopefully go in the mailbox. This right here is how I did mine. This is kind of a metally type covered cord. Don't know how long, how well to hold up over time, but this will be a good test. It came with a drill bit. And by the way, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order the rang mailbox sensor. But it came with a drill bit if you wanted to drill a hole in your mailbox for the antenna. And of course, this is the antenna here, and I used adhesive to attach it to the outside of my mailbox. If, if you had a traditional mailbox, you could put it on the outside of the mailbox, or you could put it, if you've got it in like a brick thing like I do, you could put it up there. I just wanted to maximize my signal. So that's how I set mine up. Again, this, you, you may choose to drill a hole. I don't know how well or how poorly this will hold up over time. We'll do a follow-up video in a few months and see but this will be a good test. And, you know, I didn't want to uh, damage the uh, structural integrity of my mailbox. I didn't want to introduce leaks that could result in wet mail. You know, you don't want wet mail, man. You don't want wet mail, no wet mail. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. If you have any questions, please ask. I love the Ring ecosystem. I'm a big fan of Ring and obviously a huge fan of Amazon. And, uh, you know, if you're shopping for the Ring uh, mailbox sensor, any of the Ring accessories, please expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it all online. And if you have any questions, man, just ask and I'll try to answer in the form of a future video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.